So if you're nervous to draw directly onto your canvas, I have a few tips for you. You can take another piece of paper, draw what you want. This way you can erase it and redraw it and redraw it and then we can transfer the design onto the canvas. A lot of times people don't like drawing on here because it's hard to erase on canvas and completely get rid of the pencil marks. So this is a good option if you're worried about having too many marks on your canvas. So what you're gonna do is sketch out your design, lay it out just like you want it. Let's just create a masterpiece here. Oh yeah, that is amazing. Okay, so once you have your design worked out, then you can take a piece of graphite paper. This is just one option. And this is just basically, it's darker on one side, lighter on the other. This one's been used a ton because I use these in my drawing classes in my studio. Um, so you're gonna wanna put the dark side of it down. And basically what it is, it's just graphite. It's like pencil lead scribbled on the back, pretty much. So you're gonna put that, the dark side down, face down on your canvas. Then you're gonna lay your drawing out exactly where you want it. And you wanna make sure you don't move this around, you don't wiggle it, you wanna keep it perfectly in place. And you're just gonna push down, trace over your design exactly. I'm gonna put down a fair amount of pressure and make sure you are very careful not to wiggle this around because if you start to draw and then you wiggle it, it's gonna make a really funky looking design when you take it off. Then when you take your paper away, hopefully you can see that, it's pretty dark. Sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up, but um, you've got your design there. Another way you can do this, same exact concept if you don't have the graphite paper and you can purchase that at your local art store or just order it online. Um, I'll put a link in the description box of where you can find it. I get tons of stuff at jerrysartorama.com or dickblick.com. They have great prices. So another option would be to flip your page over. I used to do this when I was a kid all the time. And you're just going to take your pencil. Wait, oh, I drew it on the back. I had drawn it before. My first attempt at doing this tutorial, I messed up. My camera wasn't filming. So I flipped it over to draw my little smiley face on the other side. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scribble on the back side, ignore that. <laughs> scribble on the back side of your drawing and if you need to hold it up to a window so you can see through it, I don't know if you can see through this paper but if there's a light behind it, let's try this. Can you see that? If we put the candle behind it. I can see it, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But basically I can see through my paper here so I can see there's my smiley face like right there. So what you're gonna do is just scribble right behind and if you hold it up to a window like I started to say you can really see those lines and you just want to scribble in the area where your drawing was go in a couple different directions and that's going to get it really black so when you got that all scribbled you're going to flip this over move to another spot where the canvas has a blank space and you can do the same thing you're just going to trace over your design put in a fair amount of pressure and this is gonna just pick up the graphite just like it did with the graphite paper. Oops, one of my lines, but that's okay. When you lift it off, you've got your design. So that's a quick tip for you to use at home if you don't have graphite paper. There you go, there's a little trick for transferring drawings.